Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis is a life-threatening bacterial soft tissue infection that spreads along soft tissue planes rapidly. Diagnosis is made clinically with the presence of skin discoloration, bully, palpable crepitus, and calculation of the LRINEC score. Emergent frozen section can help confirm diagnosis in early cases. Treatment is emergent radical debridement of all devitalized tissues with broad-spectrum IV antibiotics. The risk factors of NF are immune suppression, due to diabetes, AIDS, cancer, obesity, or bacterial introduction due to IV drug use, hypodermic therapeutic injections, insect bites, skin abrasions, abdominal and perineal surgery. NF can be classified into four types. Type 1 is polymicrobial, where there are 4 to 5 species cultured, this is the most common type, seen in 80 to 90% of cases, mostly in immunosuppressed patients. Type 2 is monomicrobial, where group EH strep is the most common organism, seen in 5% of the cases. Type 3 is due to marine vibrio vulnificus, due to marine exposure, whereas type 4 is fungal cause. Patients usually present with early findings like localized abscess or cellulitis with rapid progression, minimal swelling, or there might be no trauma or discoloration. Late findings are severe pain, high fever, chills and rigors, and tachycardia. On examination, look for skin bully, discoloration like ischemic patches or cutaneous gangrene, swelling, edema, dermal induration and erythema, or even subcutaneous emphysema, caused by gas-producing organisms. Imaging radiographs are not required for diagnosis or treatment. For investigations, biopsy can be done. Emergent frozen section can confirm diagnosis in early cases. Take the tissue sample, this can be performed at bedside or in operating room, surgical intervention should not be delayed to obtain the sample. Possible histological findings are necrosis of fascial layer, microorganisms within fascial layer, PMN infiltration, fibrinous thrombi in arteries and veins and necrosis of arterial and venous walls. There is a LRINEC score system, where a score of more than 6 indicates 92% of possible positive diagnosis of NF. We look at the lab results like CRP, white cell, hemoglobin, sodium, creatinine, and glucose. Differential diagnosis includes gas gangrene. Treatment is mainly operative. Emergent radical debridement can be done and broad-spectrum IV antibiotics should be given whenever there is suspicion for NF. For antibiotics. Start empirically with penicillin, clindamycin, metronidazole, and an aminoglycoside. Definitive antibiotics are penicillin G for strep or clostridium, imipenem or meropenem for polymicrobial, and add on vancomycin or daptomycin for MRSA. There is a low threshold for amputation when it is life-threatening. For prognosis and life-threatening infection, the mortality rate is 32%, and it correlates with time to surgical intervention, hence NF is an orthopedic emergency. That's all for this video. Thank you.